Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm gonna show you three search refinement tools that every student should know how to use. Those are file type, date, and domain. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's say I'm here at Google and I'm looking for something like, would you rather questions for kids? I've been using these lately with my own students. And I come up to 750 million results and I know from having done this search this morning that a lot of these websites are loaded with lots of pop-ups and they're just kind of annoying to read and, and or they're just a link to a PDF or a link to a Word document or a link to an image. So what I ended up doing was bypassing all of this, going into my settings and under advanced search, I just said, I only want PDFs. So now I come back with just PDFs, and when I click on these links, what I see is just the PDF and not the entire website with everything around it. Now, this is useful for students because as we know, what shows up at the top of a search result isn't always the best content on a topic, it's just the most popular content on a topic. Okay? So by having students use file type PDF or file type Word, they're going to discover some things that they probably would never see unless they went 10 or 20 pages deep in Google search results. So that's the first thing we're going to do. Now let's take a look at refining by date. Currently I have a computer science class where students are researching SSD versus HDD. Right? So SSD versus HDD. So which do you need? Now, this is a fairly recent article, 2019, but if I, as I scroll down, 2017, right, and then some that are undated, to get the most current information, I might go to these tools and say, well, I want something that's in the past year. So now I'm getting things that, are, that have only been published in the last year, and this makes it a little bit easier for students to find current relevant information, particularly on a topic like this, that is going to need to change over time as technology changes as well. So they're going to want to use that search refinement of date. Now, you can also do this in YouTube. So let's say I go to YouTube and I'm doing that same search. Well, when I go into these filters here, I, that one's six years old, that one's eight years old, that one's a year old, five years old, two years old. Let's go into our filters and let's say we're gonna read find this to upload date of this year. And you'll notice now I have things were just published in the last year. And again, from that filter, I can search and say, I only want short videos or I only want long videos. I can say I only want videos that have uh, subtitles or Creative Commons license. We've got a lot of filters within there, but the one I'm concerned about here is the date. And so we can filter by upload date. Now, our third option is refining by domain. So let's say I'm researching a topic, well, let's say the War of 1812. Very generic search, and we have 57 million results on this. I'm going to go into, again, the settings and advanced search, and let's go in and do site or domain. Now, I'm going to do .ca, top level domain for Canada, and I'm going to look for websites that were published on .ca domains. Now you can do this with any domain. I live in Maine, so I might do .k12.me.us, which is the top level domain for public schools in the state of Maine. And now I have just 57 results. And so that can be a good way to have students refine their searches. 
So they're not just looking at the entirety of the internet, they're looking within a specific domain, helps them narrow down their search. So there it is, three search refinement tools that every student should know how to use. Now I'll be talking more about this topic in the Practical EdTech Virtual Summer Camp. Registration is on sale now. Click the link in the description or head to practicaledtech.com to learn more about it. And as always, for more tips and tricks like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.